In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get around a shortcoming, in my opinion, a shortcoming, in resin systems. For this tutorial, slash lessons, slash whatever you want to call it, I'm going to be using the Res2 system, CasperTech Res2. Look, it's free and it is really good. I suggest you get this. Even if you have a, even if you have Horizons, like I do, you know, Horizons, the best resin system in the world, period. Get this too, it's pretty cool. So, <coughs> I'm going to assume that you are familiar with resin systems. If so, then you know that all the objects have to be mod and copy, or it's not going to work well. For those of you who are not familiar, the object should be mod, because you have to drop in the recording script. There has to be a script inside so the res box can tell the pieces where to go. And it has to be copy. So when the object is res out of the box, a copy is res, not the actual item that's in the box. You don't want to put a no copy item in a, in a res box. Unless, unless you intend to delete the res box and that's it, never use it again. So mod and copy, that's the shortcoming. Let's examine these objects to see if they are mod copy. And if any of them don't, well, follow along, follow along. It's easier, to, it's easier to do it as I speak. Is this object copy? Yes, it is, good. Is this object copy? Yes, it is, good. Is this object copy? Should be. Yes, it is, good. Is this object mod? Yes, it is. Is this object mod? We're doing great. Is this object mod? No. I can't put it in a res box. Yes, I can. I'll show you a trick. We're not going to put this object in the res box. I'm going to create a sabbat to hold the object and res it out. Well, follow along, follow along. It's easier to just it's easier to do it than explain it. But basically, I'm going to create a, something to carry this bear. A sabbat. You use those um, you use those for cannons. When you want to shoot something like a shoe out of a cannon, you know it's not going to work. So you put it inside a sabbat and you shoot the whole thing out of the cannon. The sabbat falls away and the shoe continues onward. <laughs> well, we're going to make a, a sabbat for the bear. If none of this makes sense, uh, please be patient. It will. <laughs> so we're going to res a prim and make it exactly the size of the bear because when I set up my scene I'm going to be I'm going to be placing this where I want the bear to be so I think it should be exactly the size of the bear make sure we do we have stretch both sides off good so there's the back here's the front One side, the other side, good. Make it as tall as the bear. Excellent. I'll call this baby bear sabat. Just for shits and giggles. Make it blank and this weird. Yeah, this word color, good enough. And semi-transparent. Yeah, that's good enough. Good. Let's move this thing over. Take a copy of the bear. Put it inside. The object has to be copy. There's no way around that limitation. Again, less, like I said, unless you just unless you just want to res the object out, throw away the res box, and you know that's it. Even so, don't don't mess with no copy items if you can prevent it. It's just asking for trouble. Because you could put it out in the world, lose it, and there you go. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, that's a different subject. So we have the bear, which is copy, inside the box. Now I'm going to add a small script. 
which we'll call Sabat script. Point. This box here is mod copy. This box can be put into a res system. And this box is going to pop out the bear. With a very simple script. Okay, we don't need a state entry. I'll put my I'll put my code inside inside the touch start because I'm gonna have to test it a lot. And then I'll come back and do something different. But right now it goes inside this touch start. So what are we gonna do? We're going to res at root. We're gonna res the object. What are we gonna res? <coughs> what are we gonna res? We're going to res get inventory name. Get the name of object zero we're going to res the first inventory object found inside the prim I'm not going to type in the name of the thing because I want to make this a generic a generic script or at or at most a script that's mostly good for every object just needs a little tweaking so we'll let the script figure out the name of the thing it should it should res That takes care of that parameter. Where should it res it relative to the prim? Wherever the prim is. What velocity? How fast should it be traveling? Well, whatever the sabat's doing, right? And how should it be rotated relative to the sabat? Well, exactly the way the sabat is oriented. This is not a complex script. <laughs> and this last parameter is used for passing information to the res object. We don't need to do that, so I'm just going to stick it a zero. And also, I think, I'm pretending like I don't know, like I haven't done this ten times already, practicing for the video. I'm not absolutely sure that bear is going to res out perfectly aligned with the sabat. So I'm going to put in an offset, which is right now is just nice nothing. Zero. Add an offset to it, which right now is zero. Nothing. Don't add anything to it. Save, save, save. That should do it. Any errors? Nope. Okay, <clears throat> now we start fooling around to see if we need to tweak anything. Pretending like I don't know. Where's the bear? Come on, bear. Oh! It reses out sideways relative to the box. Okay. So does that mean... Does that mean if I turn the box this way, the bear will be facing that side of the box? I wonder. Let's try it. Yes, it does. Good. So all I need to do right now is resize the sabat. Hmm. One step at a time. I'm just going to resize the sabat to fit the bear in that orientation. Yeah, it's a lot of fooling around, but. Uh, it means I can put that bear inside my res box, my resin system. All right, let's try that. Now, does the bear come out correctly? Yes, it does, but it's a little bit too high and a little bit too far back. That's for that offset that's going to come in handy. So I need to move it minus Y a little bit and minus Z a little bit. Well, I'll save some time. I know the values. <laughs> the minus y should be 0 0.15 and the minus z should be 0 0.1. I've done this 10 times already. But if I didn't, I just play with different values here. How about 0.1? How about 0.11? How about 0.3? Well, I know that 0.15 and 
are the right values for this particular situation. So let's, let's see if I'm right. Oh, I was not right. Oh, that'll teach me to blabber blabber. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? That's the X. That's so. Oh, bleh. minus. Minus. See, wise guy? Blabber, blabber, blabber. You lied. Those have to be minuses because we need to subtract those values. Let's try again. That's better. Oh, the spot could be a little bit larger. This is this is the most difficult part of the whole thing. Tweaking, 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 tweaking. But we're very nearly done. Let's give it another try. Oh, that's good enough. That is fine. That's good enough. I'm going to make a couple modifications to the script. Okay, when the script starts, I want some floating text. LL set text. Quote. Touch the box to delete it. Color. Ah, uh, it really doesn't matter. Yellow. I like yellow. My vision is so good. I can see yellow better. Uh, 1.0 should be fully visible text. Let's check that before I go any further. <sighs> nope. This one, dum-dum. Yeah, that's good. And... I don't want the bear to be rezzed on touch. I want the bear to be rezzed when the box is rezzed. After a little delay, because the rezzing system is going to have to rez out the box, rotate it, and put it in position. So let's put the script to sleep for three seconds. Then do this. So sleep for three seconds, then res the bear out. When the sabbat is res, sleep for three sec. Bleh. When the sabbat is rezzed, sleep for three seconds and pop out the bear. And when the sabbat is touched, LL die. Die, box, die. Save, save, save. Don't touch the box. Take your inventory. Okay. Let's test it. When the box is rezzed, three seconds. The bear should pop out. Come on, bear. Yep, it does. Then we touch it. The box. Oh, cool, 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 cool. One more test. Go quickly. Edit the box and turn it all goofy. Does the bear match? Yeah, it does. We're good. Okay, don't need that. Don't need that, don't need that, or that, or that, and all the bears. All right, now we can set up the res system. I want the bear to be right here. I want the bear to be right there when it pops out. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Put this back. All right, here we go. Setting up the res system. The anchor. Oh, we'll put the anchor right there. Drop in the recording scripts and the fox. And the picture. And the sabbat. Click, pair it to that box, take, 
take take Ooh. most recent there we go that that's the sabbat I want not the one down here and that and that all right let's test it Three seconds later. Yep, there's the bear. We're good. The only thing that's not going to work is the bear is not going to follow the bot, the res box, because the sabat's the thing. The bear is not going to follow the res box because the bear can't have the script in it. So let's double check that this works. Also, the bear is not going to automatically derez. It's not a perfect solution, but at least I can now have my bear. Yeah, it's all good. So when I res out the scene, I just do it like that. And yeah, we're good. <laughs> 